morning dear friends and greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ this is another new day and this day will be the first day of the rest of your life seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you this is a promise that Jesus Christ has given us so before we do anything else let us seek the lord and let us listen to his voice and let us hear from his word that will bless you and the rest of your day today i would like to meditate with you from exodus chapter 4 verse 4 now this passage talks about the revelation of god given to moses it is the call of moses to go back to egypt to deliver god's people from the bondage and uh, in the bargaining moses tried to escape from the call of god and the assignment god was giving him by using all the excuses that he knew but god set his eyes on moses and he would not let him go so moses as a revelation of this god who appeared in a bush which was burning but the bush itself was not burned so moses drew closer to see what it is and uh, uh, i'm sure you know the story and while moses arguing with 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 god trying to escape god's call in his life one point of their confrontation god asked moses what are you holding on what is in your hand and he said well why this is the staff this is a rod that all the shepherds use this rod and now it is very interesting that at the command of god moses removed his shoes and he was now uh, kneeling before god in worship but he still was holding on to the rod and at god's command he dropped the rod on onto the ground and as soon as the rod touched the ground from moses hand the rod became a living snake and that is the story and moses naturally got frightened and he began to run run away and then you know how god called him back and the rest of the uh, things you understand what i want to say is things that frighten us in passing through life we must expect to meet many things that frighten us like david in his uh, uh, confrontation with the goliath now a goliath is a frightening figure but by the grace of god david was not frightened because he knew that god who is with david is mightier and greater than any goliath but a goliath if any of us would face in a manner that uh, david faced we will be frightened and the first thing we uh, try to do as moses did was to run away and uh, or you can imagine the disciples caught in a in a storm big huge storm and they were not able to control the ship in which they were traveling and they were frightened and to add to their fear they saw a figure walking on the same troubled turbulent sea over the waters now as the figure came closer that the disciples got more fright fright and then in the midst of it all through the howling and uh, noise of the wind and the big uh, uh, noise created by the waters hitting the boat you know the voice 
came from that figure do not be afraid it is i it was none other than the lord jesus christ but first the disciples who were so frightened when they saw a figure coming closer to them walking over the same troubled storm struck sea and so very often in our own life that is the case my friends there are many things that can frighten us like we just uh, passed through a terrible uh, pestilence terrible disease uh, almost two and a half years which frightened the entire world and how many people were still suffering the consequences of catching that disease so that is the first thing that we notice here there are in passing through life we must expect to meet many things and the second thing you, uh, i want to bring to your attention is we shall gain nothing by running away moses immediate reaction was to run away so he started running and then god called him back what was his message god's message moses you are running away will not solve the problem of snake snake wherever you go the snake can overtake you you will find snake so you will not solve the problem by running away and that is true of any situation that we face by running away that is the first instinct and many people uh, try to try to run away from some problem come some difficulties come that they are not able to handle the first instinct is to run away and many runs away and as a result they ever remain weak and they will always be frightened <coughs> and uh, therefore resist stand your ground and be firm in your standing and that is important and the best thing we can do is to grapple with them and that's what god was trying to tell moses and moses came back and god said you do one thing you pick the snake up by its tail in other words god was said you grapple with the serpent and only by grappling with the serpent you will solve the problem of serpent and that is true in our case in our situation any problem that frightens us instead of running away the way to solve that problem is by grappling with it not only you will gain confidence in yourself and the strength but the problem itself will be solved by because you are strong and not frightened and so always remember grapple with your situation confront it and you have the lord with you and so god says do not be afraid it is i sometimes we are hit with a storm and that storm may be a chariot by which god draws near to you god is trying to get your attention and in ordinary way you will not give your attention and so god will have to come to you through a storm and that is what the disciples learned you know jesus said do not be afraid it is i who is riding the storm jesus christ so when some storm hit you or you are faced with a frightening storm always remember this god is trying to get your attention which you are not giving him in ordinary situation so there is a storm and it is time for you to give attention to god and it is very important and uh, the next thought is acting thus acting how grappling with the situation we must always rely on divine aids on divine strength 
it is god who gives you the strength when you show the courage to stand up against god himself will give you the strength and then along with the strength he also will give you the wisdom to face situation and so my friends my prayer for you is that today you shall be a victorious christian god never meant us to be fearful or weak he wants us to be strong and he wants us to be overcomers and unless you face a battle you cannot be an overcomer in order to prove that you are an overcomer you have to face a battle and so situations in life which you think it is a war, war it is a battle you are going through remember the purpose then only you will prove to the world that you are an overcomer and by the grace of god you will be and you can be this is god's plan for you so may the lord give you wisdom give you the strength and you will overcome and thus you the world will know that you are an overcomer by the grace of god and god be with you today lord the holy spirit we thank you that you are able to enable us to stand firm even when we face some frightening situation and we shall not be moved by this situation but by the grace of god and by the enabling power of the holy spirit we shall overcome we give you praise In jesus name amen god bless you have a great and wonderful victorious day god loves you